Welcome back to another UECast tutorial. In this video, we're going to get Unreal Engine 5 Early Access up and running and resolve some potential issues with .NET libraries. First, be sure to download Unreal Engine 5 Early Access from Epic Games Launcher under the UE5 tab. Once installed and running, we'll create a simple C++ first-person shooter to ensure everything is working. Let's create an FPS with C++ and ray tracing enabled and name our project UE5 Test. If you are missing certain .NET libraries, UE5 will help lead you to what you need. The first library you may need is an updated .NET 5.0 core runtime. Copy and paste the URL given into your web browser. Also be sure to verify you have the latest version of Visual Studio 2019. The Community Edition works with Unreal Engine and is free for everyone. Select the latest version available and save it. Then let's get that installed, and once installed, We'll close out of all of UE5 and any other programs and restart Unreal Engine. Again, let's create the same sample UE5 test project with C++. This time, you may need the latest Microsoft Net Core app. Again, copy the link provided and download the desktop app version suitable for your machine. After downloading, be sure to install the .NET library. Once installed, we'll close down all running applications and relaunch UE5. Once UE5 project browser is running again, let's create our sample FPS project with C++ and name it UE5 test. Visual Studio should now be able to properly build the source code for the project and automatically launch both Unreal Engine Editor and the Visual Studio C++ code project. Now let's give our project a quick play test to ensure everything is working properly. And we can also bring the windows side by side and dig into the C++ code for our new projects. And with that, you should have Unreal Engine 5 early access up and running.